Hello everybody, this is Crimson Theme and welcome back to Might and the Magic 6. We are on our quest to get all the memory crystals and last episode we got the one from Castle Creek Spire. So today we are pressing onwards and getting the second memory crystal. So, first things first, we need to go to Silver Cove. And for once I actually turned in the right direction. We are going to be traveling to Castle Alamos. Uh, and that lies in the eel infested waters, which is the same place that we got the master light magic skill from So same as always we're going to visit the docks in the northern part of Silver Cove And there we go to the island south now, That's a weird thing because the island south I usually think I always think that it will take me south of Silver Cove like, this is Silver Cove, and south of Silver Cove is Bootleg Bay, and the thing is that the docks here, they actually do take you to Bootleg Bay as well, so, eh, it's always weird. Like, I'm never sure whether, uh, whether I'm supposed to go there or not. Oh, and there's a shrine there. Let me see if, uh, if I get anything from it. Nope, nothing. Oops. Accidentally fell into the guys So yeah, eel infested waters as you can see aptly named um, Unfortunately, we won't be clearing the, uh, this whole place out because well the only enemy I can actually loot are the flying agar pets abominations monsters whatever they're called and those aren't terribly uh, lucrative for lack of a better word so yeah I'm not really gonna be doing that is there anything interesting here Ooh, ancient weapon expertise what are ancient weapons though one might ask well if you stick around and watch my well the coming episodes actually you'll see what the ancient weapons are but enough about ancient weapons here we are in Castle Alamos so we have to get the second, uh, the second sort of uh, memory crystal here. Now the thing is, this dungeon I would actually rate above Castle Creek Spire in its difficulty, because Castle Creek Spire is difficult because it tends to be sort of uh, I don't want to call it. Uh, as I level up my disarm trap, I have to first finish mind magic and then water magic. But oh well. Um, so Castle Creek Spy turns, tends to be difficult if you run into, for example, the uh, what are they called? The uh, Minotaur Kings, because they will just they'll just kill you dead. Um, whereas this dungeon is actually more more sort of a balance difficult because it has groups of fairly difficult uh, enemies and it has large groups of them as well so yeah the thing is the Magyar Mag 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 MacGyver the MacGyver soldiers and matrons and everything well they don't seem to be too difficult, but the thing is, right? The thing is, they hit often, they hit fast. Well, they hit often, they hit fast. Well, twice the same thing. So basically, they hit very often and they hit very accurately and they hit for quite a lot, actually, especially if they get in melee range. Um, and they do have range spells, that's why I'm using the protection from uh, electricity here. And this place is also filled with uh, air elementals, so yeah. Pretty much the reason why I'm going fairly slowly. Um, this place, however, is fairly lucrative. Uh, I mean, there are things that you can pick up, and there's a nice amount of money. And the uh, the soldiers are actually worth things as well. So, you know, it's a nice thing. And these are the other mobs in this castle. And this, they make it much more annoying. Uh, so we are going to be curing ourselves of insanity quite a bit 
and then a weakness too. Do you have cure weakness? Yes, you do. On a side note, I did get a new mouse, so haha, -ha, no more double clicks. Thank god. Because it was starting to happen way too often. And there we go, air elemental. And they are actually quite quite strong, the air elementals, I mean. So there's nothing they're nothing to scoff at. Do I have any... I have Fire Blast set as my quick spell. Hmm. I'm gonna remove my quick spell for now. Because I don't think that it will help me much against the magicians and everything. Pretty much everything in this dungeon is uh, ranged. Well, yeah, I guess the Magyars aren't, but I don't want to be Fire Blasting them all the time. Red Liquid and Green Liquid, excellent. Hmm. Let me see. Let's guess guys. Haste makes waste. Christmas theme, 2018. Nice. So I don't know much what else I'm supposed to say about this dungeon. Like, it's fairly straightforward. Um, well, as I say that, and remember that this is one of the... I don't want to say one of the few, because there are, there's a fair number of dungeons with actual puzzles. Um, however, uh, it's one of the dungeons with the more, I want to say, annoying puzzle. Because I, I can never remember the correct... Um, I can never remember the correct combination. So we're probably going to be running around a lot, trying to remember the combination. And it's going to be annoying. And as you can see, there's a fairly... It's a fairly sprawling dungeon, in all honesty. I think something got broken, yeah. It did. There we go. Let me just run around. There we go. So I'm going to be clearing the side rooms first and if you actually paid attention perhaps you heard the same noise that you heard in Castle Creek Spire let me see can you hear it? It sort of means that the crystal is somewhere here, <laughs> but the thing is we actually need... There's a completely roundabout way of getting it. I mean, the way of getting it is very roundabout in this dungeon at least. So, heh. I don't think we'll be able to cheat our way to victory this time. in terms of, of like, uh, loot. <laughs> oh, haste ran out. Oh, ran out. Darn it. And here I am hitting for absolutely no damage. Oh, weakness. Weakness is actually a pretty severe debuff. Um, 
with how I usually play. There we go. Pretty much cuts my damage to, I don't know, one third total. Which is not good. Oh. This is a 50 value item with a 1000 value enchantment on it. Nice. Noise. One might say noise. Wall rock. Hmm. Hmm. What's the, what's the noise you're making? Oh, God. You make weird noises, ladies. Don't know why, and I don't think I want to know why. But yeah, you do make weird noises. As long as it makes you happy, though. Ah, uh -huh, nobody died. Ooh, yet. Oh, there are actually things behind me. Oof. Hmm, fire resistance for six. You know what? I'm taking that. I have six rings already. Wow. Wow. Hmm. I think I'm gonna be switching out the 15 endurance and 5 armor ring as soon as I get a good one. Recast haste, because I like doing that. Might as well recast heroism and bless as well. This is an ominous looking wall. Ooh! A deck of fate. Now, how the deck works is. You use it similarly to a horseshoe, and it gives you a sort of effect based on the date that it is, I think. But, uh, but the thing is, uh, the it's not necessarily a beneficial effect. Um, sure, you may get, you know, like some stat points and everything. Uh, you can actually even get like gold and experience. Which I actually don't like, because I like my characters having the same uh, amount of experience points. So that's the reason why I'm not going to be using it. But you can get experience, you can get gold, you can get... Whoa. You can get uh, elementals teleported right into your face. And that means I need to be going... Come on. To new Sorpagal. And a lot of things just got broken, I think. Wow. You broke a lot of things, didn't you? So yeah, like part 1000 of things that I know didn't know happened in Castle Alamos. Uh, so this and this and this. I should really have sold things in between episodes, shouldn't have I? Shouldn't I? Shouldn't have I? Shouldn't I have? I should have. I should really have sold things. You know what, I'm gonna rest, to be honest. And then recall. So I guess don't walk into the water, because it will quote unquote kill you? What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, the deck of fate. It's sort of like... Um, I guess it sort of works like the the deck of many things if anybody plays Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, in the sense that it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. Although I guess the bad things sort of all, uh, are... Uh, well, you can fix them, for example, even if your character dies or gets eradicated, which is... 
Which are two of the things that, ha that can happen, I guess you can just resurrect them, whereas in Dungeons and Dragons if you know, a player dies, and a player basically dies. So I hope you have a good DM! And by good I mean a... Uh, by good I do mean a... Uh, a merciful one. Oops. Is that your item? I don't know why I'm fixing the things that I don't wear, actually. Oh my god. Wait, let me cast protection from electricity. That will help a lot, actually. Ay ay ay. I said it before, I'm gonna say it again, one thing that I really don't like about this game is that your items are constantly being broken. For no reason at all. There's a door I can't open here. I wonder what will happen if I... Uh, if I walk into this uh, water again. Hmm, nothing. Okay. That's fine. I think this is a wall that you can use to teleport somewhere. Oops. I got a bit owned there. Hmm. I think I'm gonna use the run in and fire blast things tactic. group of sorcerers. Oh that, was, oh, that was effective. That was effective as french fries. Effective as french fries. I think it's here. Oh, come on. Seriously? Ambushed by goblins at this point? I could have just slept through the whole Thing and not n not even know that I got ambushed. Uh, Torchlight. I need protection from fire. I need protection from electricity. I need heroism and bless, and I need wizard eye. Might as well cast haste as well. I know. I know you're there. There's a warlock somewhere. I just first take care of twisters. There we go. What? 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 Where? What? Flying above me, of course. Nothing I need is broken. There we go. So, the first thing that I want to do in this dungeon is actually clear it out. Because clearing it out mm, will give me the opportunity to actually orient myself and see where I have to go. Now that's easier said than done, honestly, because as you can see, it's pretty packed with monsters and everything, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a chore clearing it out. Letter to Garrick. Oh yeah, that was the scroll that I just picked up. Now, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. So, the fifth is twice the second, five letters and all, I reckon, so it's... This is sort of puzzle, so I need to write this down, because I always rem... I always... Um, I always forget... What the combination is. Uh, 
And this is the fifth and last letter that I have to type in when I'm prompt, prompted, prompt, prompted. And I think that the crystal is somewhere up here. However, as of now, it's unattainable. Let's see. I think I need to go. Yeah. So this is the restricted area where I need to give the password. I usually just jump up here. Whereas this is the elevator that gets you up here. You need to be careful about, you know, going on the ledge and everything. I think I actually remember the password, but you know, just for fun, I actually want to go and get all the uh, get all the hints and everything, and just try and get it uh, solved. So you guys have evidence of what I did. I'm not gonna cast haze this time, though. Ooh, there's a large dungeon. Much larger than... Uh, much larger than Castle Creek Spire. Let's go down here. We haven't been here yet. I'm just gonna leave my... Uh, my hero insane. Shouldn't really be a problem in all honesty. Because, well... I'm not really worried about losing spell points on him. At least for now. Come on, come on, come on. Funnels. I love funnels. Protection from cold. Me? Did anything get broken? No. I'll regularly check if that will happen. If that happens, if that happens, if, if that's happening. And so there's another tree that I can touch for hints over there. I don't know what's with this game and trees that give you hints. A book of learning. Shield. Nice. I actually had to learn that one. Shield is an air magic spell that gives you it basically helps the uh, damage you get from projectiles. Now I'm not sure if that applies to uh, if that applies to spells as well. I don't think so. If it does, however, it's probably one of the best spells in the game. I guess it's one of the things that I don't know about this game. Um, could be worth checking out, actually. Maybe I'll do that. You know in between episodes. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay. So, the third is the first of 26. A through Z you'll have to mix. So, the third is the first of 26, uh, the 26 letters. A through Z you'll have to mix and which means the third one is A. So it's five letter letters, the third is A and the fifth one is twice the second. That's all we have going for us now. Mm, money. Just cure him. 
let's rest. Oh, hello. I wonder what she was doing when I was killing all her friends. Sorry, I just had a toilet break. Where is everybody? Who are these four people sleeping here? Oh god. That water looks like a trap. <laughs> I'm just saying it right now. I'm not gonna walk in there. It's an empty bucket. A staff. Mm, and armored boots. You actually have steel boots. Let me try enchanting this. What do we get? Personality plus 12. Eh. Speed plus 7. Yeah, I'm keeping the speed ones. The door is locked. That is interesting. How am I supposed to open it? Where am I getting the key? What is with this dungeon? Uh, honestly. Two more from behind. Nothing. 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 Hmm. Okay. Well, that was pretty useless, I guess. Anything here? Some loot. Ooh, an axe. A war axe, okay. Plate armor. Nice, I can sell that one. Plate armor is valuable, but in this game it takes the most amount of, of, uh, of inventory space. It's just bloody massive. For reasons that, you, you know, I have no idea why. They made it more compact in later uh, games. Which honestly, I think is the right way to go because you know when you, hmm, what should I, what example should I give? Like for example, if you have, if you want to, for example, uh, put away a carton box, you know, for use later. I don't know in case you're moving or something. You take the car, uh, the cardboard box apart, right? So you have just you know like a flat thing that you can easily shove basically anywhere underneath something. Um, you don't just put it somewhere, right? You know, it takes up a way larger amount of space. And I'm pretty sure that plate armor works in much the same way. I mean, you can take parts, you know, you can take parts uh, sort of uh, apart. I mean, is it? Is that how plate armor works? I'm pretty sure it does. I mean, it makes sense because, you know, you can't really put on a suit of full plate armor like you would put on a shirt. Unless you're Chuck Norris. Okay, so this does this part done? I don't have much to say in this dungeon, in all honesty. I'm sort of focused on killing everything, which is... Well, I guess it makes for a fairly boring video. Uh, if I don't get to say something juicy. I wonder if there's any way to hit the guys in the top, just looking on as I slaughtered all of their women. Is there any way to hit you? Hmm? Let's see. Nope. Guess I could have tried with like uh, 
Ice Blast, but ne. So let me use Lloyd's Beacon again, just in case we want to get back to this place. The door won't budge. Well, what a surprise. Not here. You can rescue the enemies now. Oh, did I actually... No, I thought it ran out. Hm. Hm. Might as well cast Bless. You know, it's times when I can't actually cast Heroism. I start appreciating the difference that it does. Oh, there's another tree. So, the second is next to the third. Well, no, no shit. No shit. Oh, so pretty like a bird. The second is next to the third, also oh, pretty like a bird. All right, so if the third one is A, so I guess the second one is B. And since the fifth one is, is twice the second, that makes it a D, I think. I think that's how it goes. I wonder the switch here. I wonder what the switch does. Instantly dies. Press the switch regardless. So, let's go to New Sorpigal, again, Can we assist you? No. to heal a bit faster, let me recast my spells, oops, not the right spell, protection from electricity, I'm not, I don't know why I'm casting protection from fire, because I don't think they actually deal fire damage in the dungeon, but well, whatever, I think this one. Who built this thing? How the hell do you navigate this? What kind of demented architect built this thing? I mean, it's like, oh, we're gonna go down here and then up here and then we're gonna have a tunnel to the room three, I don't know, three rooms over. Ugh. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, I know it's a, it's a computer game, it doesn't have to make sense, but come on, man. Imagine somebody living here. I mean, I guess it's a castle, it's supposed to be used to confuse the enemy, because it's a fortification, if they... Uh, if they... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Run it over? You know, take it over. Uh, it'll take more time to get used to it or something, I don't know. I'm not a brilliant tactician, okay? I, 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 I'll, I'll admit that. I'm, I'm not a brilliant tactician. I have no idea how this goes. Either am I an architect or a game developer. <laughs> so, yeah. What? what? <laughs> There's someone shooting me, but I have no idea how that works. So yeah, note to self and everybody else, if you play this game using actually using the turn-based mode, the combat is actually a lot easier. So okay, the tree. The first is half the fourth plus one. Better hurry or it'll be done. So it's half the fourth. Plus one. So I guess we need to find the last one, which is the fourth one. 
and then hopefully I will have made the correct uh, the correct password. Is it called a password if it's ancient and everything? The magical word. Let's call it the magical word. So once we get all the the hints for the magical word, um, we're able to say the magical word and then go into the and then go into the uh, thing. We're gonna be able to go into the thing and get the thing by and by doing the thing we can then complete the thing and then we can go onwards to do the next thing. Wow. YouTube, it's easy. Speaking is also easy. It's not like I've played this game like 10,000 times uh, and I still have no idea what to say. So we're looking for the last hint tree, I guess. Which by default is the, um, the hardest to find because well, it always is like that, isn't it? You find like seven trees in the span of five minutes and then you find the last one two days later. Nope, nothing there. Just a random pothole or what's it called? I just wanted to recast haste. Like it literally ran out this second. Uh, but I think we're pretty much at the end uh, of sort of clearing out the dungeon. If I can find my way back, that is. Is the door possibly open? Ooh, I did open the door. It's probably the switch that I uh, pressed near the tree. So if I'm lucky... I may just find the last tree somewhere in this place and that would be very, very quite excellent. No, 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 of course not. It's not going to be very, very quite excellent. So there's one more place I have to go to, I guess, and it's sort of an ugly place because, well, it has a fair amount of monsters there. Leather armor, uh, and I think I picked up some gauntlets. Yeah, okay, that's good. And something broke as well. I just repair this. Everything else is okie doke. Cast protection from my electricity, please. Oh, seriously, you're perched right atop of me. Like when you try to look up in this game, you can't look straight up so when something is like directly below you or directly above you you can't actually hit it which is fairly annoying because that would have made things a lot easier in some dungeons to be honest it would have made it cheaty a bit cheaty but you know what I'm fine with a bit cheaty oh God, this is an ugly room, isn't it? You know what? Fire blast! You know what? I think I'm gonna. Lloyd's Beacon. Not enough spell points. How do I have not enough spell points for Lloyd's Beacon? I have like a million. And you have... No, you don't have it yet. So I need... The, is it 15? No, it's 20. Okay, so I need to wait a bit just to cast... Uh, oh, there's the last tree. Excellent. Well, let's not die. Oh, no, Serena was unconscious, which means I'll have to... I'll have to kill my party somewhere 
in between episodes. Uh, is that a weird thing to do? Like, you know, kill your whole party just because one person didn't get, I don't know, 20 experience? How much experience didn't you get? Yeah, you're actually... A, whoa! And Zoltan died as well somewhere. Hmm. That's interesting. Don't remember him dying in between. Wait, let me recast my buffs first. So yeah, we are at the end, I guess. Should we just run for it? Let's just run for it. We've cleared enough of Castle Alamos as it is. <laughs> oh. So the fourth is eight from the end. Archibald really is your friend. Eighth from the end. So that means it's the 18th letter. This. So that makes it R. So the first one is half of the fourth one, which is the eighth, which is the eighteenth one, plus one, which makes it the tenth word. I mean, the tenth letter. So it's. Is this right? So it's J, right? Okay, good. Whoa! Okay, so he died. Just a bit. Let me just get somewhere safe. Well, let's go here. So the password... I have it right here now, so... Now we just need to find the darned place with the crystal. I'm really bad at navigating this, the sort of end dungeons in this game. Probably because they get a bit more complicated and I don't really pay that much attention to it because I almost never clear them out. So I don't really know the layout as much as I know the layout of the simpler and quote-unquote easier dungeons, I guess. So I think it's somewhere here, no, somewhere here, right? No, it's on the other side. Oh, nearly done with the second memory crystal, oh, that is so good. We're actually making good progress. Okay, let's go here. So the password is this, I think. There we go. It's the correct one. So the password is J Bard. And there we go. Second memory crystal. Down portals straight into Freehaven. Uh, get stuck on a sign. And we're gonna pay a visit to the council or the oracle. And now I can't remember. Wait, is the power on? System shut down. System's functional. Now the power has to be on if we want to do anything in this uh, dungeon. This place. I can never remember whether uh, I've already put a crystal into it or not. I think I, at first I put it onto the southern part. Yeah, I did. Okay. So, guys, we have two more crystals to go, but before we go onwards and wrap this episode up, I'm actually gonna go and level up my uh, heroes. Wow. I only have 14,000 left. So mind magic for you, I'm gonna put two points in disarm trap and I have to get to mind magic expert and master. Water magic for you and then give you perception master and then I'm gonna level up your earth magic skill. Light magic and go to merchant and air magic. That's pretty much it. 
So, guys, uh, we did we did good work today, actually. Um, I'm I'm actually fairly surprised or not surprised. Um, I'm actually very glad that the two memory crystals that we have to get uh, had to get uh, weren't actually. I don't want to say that they weren't difficult. It's just that they didn't pose as much of a problem as I thought they will. So that is good. That is actually very, very good. So we got two memory crystals. We have two more to go. Um, and it's sort of a mixed bag of everything with the last two dungeons. Because one is, I think, the easiest of the four dungeons. And one is the actual hardest, in my opinion. Um, it is an ugly, annoying, hard dungeon. <laughs> So we're probably going to be saving it for last, to be honest, so yeah. Um, now in between the episodes, I am going to go visit all the teachers that I have to visit and get all my expert and the master ranks. And I'm going to sell all the things in my inventory. Uh, so I won't be, you know, wasting time doing that in, uh, during the episodes. But anyway, guys, enough of my ranting. Uh, I've been Chris and Theme. I hope you enjoyed it, this episode. If you did, like and subscribe, please. Uh, also, send me a comment if you have any questions. And hopefully, I'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye!